let's take a look at problem number 17. In 17, we'd like to determine whether the mean value theorem applies to the function f of x is equal to 7 minus x squared on the interval negative 1 to 2. Okay, and if so, we want to find the points that are guaranteed to exist by the mean value theorem. All right, so now we should probably review for just a second what does the mean value theorem say. Uh, first of all, the mean value theorem says that if we have a function that's continuous on this closed interval and it's differentiable on this interval except open, and uh, then there exists some point in between f of a, or negative 1, and f of b, negative 2, where the slope of the secant line is equal to the slope of the function in between somewhere. Uh, we could write this down. I'm sure that you have this in your textbook, what the mean value theorem is. So if we're trying to figure out if the mean value theorem applies at all, then really what we need to do is answer two questions. Is this thing continuous on the closed interval? And can I take its derivative on the open interval? Okay, well this thing is pretty trivially continuous on the closed interval because it's a polynomial function and polynomial functions are continuous everywhere. So this is trivially continuous on this closed interval and polynomial functions are differentiable everywhere. And since they're differentiable everywhere, it's certainly differentiable on the open interval from negative 1 to 2. So we've got something that the mean value theorem certainly applies. So the second part of the problem is uh, find the points that are guaranteed to exist by the mean value theorem. And the way that we're going to do that is, first of all, we have to figure out what is f of minus 1 and what is f of 2. So let's figure that out real quick f of minus 1 and f of 2. Um, so f of minus 1 is equal to 7 minus negative 1 squared, which is uh, 7 minus 1, which is 6. And f of 2, plug in 2 here, and I get 7 minus 2 squared, or 7 minus 4 which is 3. So now that I know what f of minus 1 and f of 2 are, I can find the slope of the secant line that connects those two points. And the way I do that is I want f of 2 minus f of minus 1 over 2 minus minus 1. <clears throat> In other words, f of 2 we figured out was 3 minus f of negative 1 was 6 over 2 minus minus 1, which is plus 1. In other words, I get minus 3 over 3, or negative 1. Uh, so what the mean value theorem guarantees me is that since the slope of the secant line between these two points is negative 1, then there must be somewhere where the derivative of this function is equal to negative 1 in between negative 1 and 2. So let's find that point. So how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to take the derivative of this function, set it equal to negative 1, and solve for x. All right, so my function is f of x is equal to 7 minus x squared. So I want to take the derivative of that function. So I get that f prime of x is equal to negative 2x. And I want to set that guy equal to negative 1 and solve for x, which is pretty straightforward. So I get negative 1 is equal to negative 2x, which would mean that x would be 1 half. Now, I should ask the question, is 1 half in my interval? Yeah, it's in between negative 1 and 2. So this makes sense for an answer. So this is a point x that's uh, slope the slope of this function at 1 half is negative 1. So this is the point guaranteed to me by the mean value theorem. Okay, so this is the answer that I'm looking for, is x is equal to 1 half.